Hey foodies, welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today we're taking a trip to St. Vincent. Yes, we're making some Vincentian Dukunas. But before we get into the video, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. Let's go. let's get into it so we're starting off with our banana leaves yes i said banana leaves yes i found these in toronto here in toronto at the ethnic store yes so i was so excited to find these i bought like four package but i only needed one because a lot it contained a lot one package contained a whole heap so what i'm doing now i'm separating my leaves and i'm going to cut them in squares and then i'm going to wash them yes you have to wash them ensure that you wash them properly and i'm going to put them in a po big pot of water and i'm going to boil them and this will sanitize the leaf and also it will uh, make it a little soft so that it's easier for you to maneuver, easier for you to use when you are ready to use them. So here is a pot with the leaf and I just boil them up for a couple minutes, about 10 minutes and they will be good to go. while our banana leaf is boiling away we're gonna get the rest of the ingredients ready so we're gonna start off with our coconut yes i'm using this fresh dry coconut from the store and i'm just going to use a hammer to crack it open just use rotate it in your hand while you bang it with the hammer and sometime this thing happened yes that coconut is not good Buying coconut from the store here in Toronto is a big hit and miss and this was totally a miss. So I'm going to throw that out. I'm going to grab a new coconut. I always have more than one coconut at hand when I'm going to use a coconut from the shell in a recipe. So I'm just cracking this coconut open with the hammer. Just rotating it in your hand as you bang it with the hammer. let's see if this one is going to be good finger cross yes this coconut this one is perfect and this nice coconut water in here that you can drink you know as we say in jamaica coconut water if it wash off the heart yes so i'm gonna have that coconut and water to drink and then i'm going to use the hammer again to finish cracking it making it easier for me to take the coconut from inside from outside the shell so I'm just finished cracking this up and then I'm going to use a knife to remove the coconut. And please be very careful if you're not used to doing this. I've been doing this from I was, I don't know how, how old, but from I was quite small in Jamaica. This was my job. My grandma gave me the job of getting the coconut out and gratering it. After removing the coconut from the shell, we're going to set it aside and we're going to move on to peeling. So we're going to peel our sweet potatoes. And this is a Caribbean sweet potato that I got from the ethnic store here in Toronto. But I think you could find it at your regular supermarket, depending on where you live. And then we're also going to peel our Edo. 
you can use either Edo or Coco. And if it's hard for you to find Edo or Coco, I also get got these from the Ethnic store. You can always replace it with the Sheen or Taro if those that is what is available depending on where you live. Because what the Edo is going to do is to help everything bind together. That's the main purpose of having, apart from the flavor, because you know we're using it for the flavor too, but we're using it to bind everything together. Now that we have everything peeled, we are going to get them nicely washed and also we're going to clean up our workstation and come back. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to cut everything into smaller pieces because we are using a food processor. Yes, no greater, no greater in a food processor. I know that one of the main reason my generation doesn't um, make a lot of our traditional food is because of all the hard work. If you grew up in the Caribbean, greatering was a part of your childhood and we all grew up not liking to do it. I remember as a teen, one of my main job was to grate a coconut, cassava, a sweet potato, whatever my grandma needed me to grate her, I was doing it. She will bake traditional Jamaican dessert every Friday to take to church on Saturdays, and I will have to grate her everything that she need. I also had a grater coconut every Sunday morning for chocolate tea and rice and peas. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't mind it on a Sunday morning because my grandma chocolate tea is the best. But even though I have fun memories with my grandma in the kitchen, I'm not a big fan of gratering. I don't think anyone is a big fan of gratering. And I'm all about working smarter, not harder. Hence, using a food processor instead of a grater. So all you have to do is to chop everything into smaller pieces and throw them in the food processor. Now we're going to pulse it for about 30 seconds to a minute until it is coarsely grind. And look at it. That's all it takes. And you have nice grated coconut without all the process of grating it with your hands so this happened while i was shooting this video it was nice and sunny i was shooting in the solarium using natural light and it just got dark and super windy at one point i thought we we're gonna have a tornado back to our regular program so we're cutting up our sweet potato and our edo now because we're going to throw them in the food processor because we're not using any grater today and let us say yay for working smarter so today we're just using a food processor so we're cutting them up in smaller pieces so it's easier for them to break down in the food processor Now we're going to pulse our edo until it's nice and smooth with a little bit of texture to it. So that's going to be a couple seconds and that's how it's supposed to look. I forgot to video the process of doing it. And now we're going to move on to our sweet potato. Sweet potato is going to take a little bit more time to process because of how hard they are and the amount I put in the food processor. So you want to pulse these for about a minute or two until it turns into a nice coarse meal with a little texture to it. And now we have everything prepared everything is ready to go we're gonna combine everything together so this is our sweet potato that we have done in the food processor so we're gonna add this to a bowl because we're combining everything together and now we're gonna add our coca coconut i love me some coconut if i could put coconut in everything i would put it in there actually i I put coconut in everything because I love coconut. And this is our Edo. And remember, you can use um, Edo, the Sheen, Tara, um, Coco, whichever is available where you're at, you can use either one. And this is our sugar. So I'm using some organic cane sugar, but you can use whatever sugar that you like. 
So this is some fresh ginger that I grate and you can always omit this from the recipe or you can replace it with some black pepper. I've called a couple of Vincentians and they said they do use black pepper to replace the ginger sometime. We're going to add in our salt and then we're going to add some nutmegs in it, some great nutmegs and some cinnamon. This is some, mm, I love cinnamon. Who else out there loves cinnamon like me? Yeah, I love coconut too, but I love cinnamon. And now we're going to add in our vanilla. And then we're going to mix this all out in. And as you might notice, there's no liquid. I'm not putting any additional liquid in this. And I know a lot of Jamaicans might be wondering, where's the liquid where the coconut milk is? We put coconut milk in our ducanu. But this is a Vincentian ducanu. And we're making it like how the locals make it. And they put no liquid in theirs. So we're not going to put any liquid in it. And it work out perfectly. Trust me so this require a lot of elbow grease so you have to put the elbow in there you have to mm, you can use your hands if you want but i'm using a wooden spoon but it's up to you to use your hand to combine everything but you can also use a wooden spoon and just mix it all in because you want all of this to incorporate all of this to blend together so put in the work your hand will it will give you a little workout you know a hand workout so put your hand in there to mix everything in more you mix it or as you mix it you will notice that it start becoming paste like because at first it would be more crumbly but as you mix it and put in that elbow grease you will notice it becoming um more of a paste like and this is when you know that this is ready this is ready to go Now that this is all nicely mixed and ready, we're going to set it aside and get the other stuff, you know, prepared and ready. So the banana leaf, we already washed it, we'll already boil it so it's ready to go. So we're going to cut some string and I'm using a string, I normally use it for like Christmas gifts and stuff. Um, I don't know what it's called, I'm not sure what it's called if it has a special name other than string. So I'm going to cut a couple of them and about, I'm cutting them about 15 inch long or so, you can cut them a little longer for security in case off and do not use the regular shred that you used to um sew so you need something nice and sturdy so back in jamaica when i was growing up and i used to make dukunas with my grandma she used to use the bark of the banana plant that she cut in nice little strings and we use it to tie the dukunu and i just love the industriousness of our people because back in the days that's what they used that's what our ancestor used to make to use to tie the dukunu and i just love it let's tie some dukunu so what you're going to do is to add half cup of the mixture to the banana leaf you need about nine inch or less um of banana leaf to tie the dukunu but if you have excess amount on your leaf you can always cut it off it's not a big deal and you're gonna tie it with a string and ensure that it's well nice and secure so that it's not gonna fall apart when it's being boiled might be wondering what about if i don't have any banana leaf and by the way you can always check out the ethnic store um in the frozen section for banana leaf but if you can't find that you can always use aluminum file and parchment paper personally i do not use aluminum file so i did not have any so that i could demonstrate so what you could do is to add your half cup of mixture to the parchment paper um, then you're going to fold it just like I'm folding the banana leaf, but don't tie it. Now you're going to wrap it in the aluminum file to secure it. And then that's it. Then you can add it to the pot to boil. So if you cannot find the banana leaf, you can always um, use some aluminum file and some parchment paper. For the dukunu, you're going to boil a big pot of water and I add some cinnamon stick to it. So 
you know give it a little extra flavor but you can always skip this step my grandma always put you know cinnamon leaf cinnamon stick in it but you can just use plain water so here are all the duklunu they're all ready they're wrapped tight and ready to get a little bath some hot water bath so i'm going to drop all this inside of the boiling water that you see that nice cinnamon water that i had going Now we're going to carefully drop our dukunu or wrap dukunu inside of the boiling pot of water and we're going to let this boil for about an hour. So after an hour of boiling, now they are ready to go. So we're just going to drain the water off and remove them from the pot. Now that these are ready, we're just going to open one of them, cut into it. I'm so excited for these dukunu. I couldn't wait to eat one. I like my dukunu to be hot and just from the pot. So, you know, I have to have one immediately. So, that's how it looks it's nice and firm and one thing i discovered while i was researching this recipe calling the vincentians and stuff is that they eat this with salt fish saute salt fish so you know i had to make some vegan salt fish with some ochre and i had them together and the flavor combination was out of this world i was like oh my goodness as a jamaican i've been missing out yes in jamaica we have our dukunu as a dessert by itself but having the vegan saltfish with it and the saltiness with the sweetness the balance was amazing what do you make this recipe what do you think about this recipe tell me in the comment down below and thank you all for stopping by the caribbean vegan foodie please before you go remember to like share subscribe tell a friend and tell another friend too until next time, what good?